So guys, uh, this time fluid mechanics had a very good percentage in gate. So it was about, I think, 10 or 11 marks in the morning session. So here is another question from fluid mechanics. Again, a very simple question, simply based on the concepts of viscosity or uh, you can say laminar viscous flow if you go by the books of Indian authors, right? So what the question says is, I have not written the statement. The diagram is again very self-descriptive. The statement says is that there is a vertical wall, okay? This is a vertical wall. And this solid block of 2 kg slides down against this wall. But the solid block and the wall are separated by a very thin layer of an oil, okay? The thickness of that oil is zero, of that oil layer is 0 0.15 mm and the dynamic viscosity is 7 into 10 raised to power minus 3 pascal second. So please note here SI units of dynamic viscosity are given, okay? Now, as the block is sliding down, obviously the layer of the oil which is in contact with the block will move at a velocity equal to that of block. And the layer of the oil which is in contact with the wall will remain at rest. So what would happen is that within the oil layer, velocity gradients will be set up. And because of that, there will be a velocity profile, right? So it is given that the corresponding velocity pro profile is linear, okay? So that velocity profile is given and the maximum velocity is given as V. So obviously this is the velocity of the block also. So it is asking that what is the terminal velocity for this case, okay? So uh, first of all, let us see that what is terminal velocity. See, uh, whenever a body moves in a fluid mass, so what happens is that the fluid mass exerts a drag force, okay, on the body in the opposite direction. For example, let us talk about the rain droplets. What are droplets in form of rain? So when those droplets form, uh, fall from the cloud because of their weight, they keep on accelerating towards the ground, okay? And their, the, their speed, that is the magnitude of their velocity, keeps on increasing. Now, because of the air resistance and air drag, a resisting force acts on these droplets in the opposite direction. But the best thing is that these this drag force is directly proportional to square of the speed, okay? So if the speed is going to increase, the drag force is also going to increase. So when the droplets are moving down, the speed is increasing, therefore the upward drag force is also increasing. So at the moment, what will happen is that the drag force will equal, become equal to the weight of the droplet. So when the drag force is equal to weight of the droplet, this means that the resultant force on the droplet has now become zero and its acceleration will also become zero. So after that, the droplet keeps on moving with a constant velocity, okay? So this constant velocity with the, which the droplet, which the body has achieved, that is known as terminal velocity, okay? So always remember that when drag force becomes equal to all the resultant of all other forces that is the sum of gravitational force pressure force then the velocity is known as terminal velocity because it is a constant velocity okay so here also as it will keep on moving downwards because of its weight it will keep on accelerating ultimately the speed of magnitude uh, the the speed or magnitude of velocity will be such that the drag force in the upward direction will be equal to weight in the bottom direction as shown in the free body diagram of the body okay of the block and at that moment acceleration will become zero and it will have a constant velocity which will also be equal to capital v right so same condition i have drawn on the board also so fv that is the drag force is equal to mg which Viscous force, okay. Now, what is viscous force? Viscous force is the shear stress into area of interface. An area of interface is given to us, which I have not written on the board. So, I think the area of interface is equal to, uh, guys, let me check what the area of interface is. So, I think the area of interface is somewhat 0 0.04 meter square. Uh, yes, I am right. It is 0 0.04 meter square, okay. So, the viscous force will be equal to wall shear stress into area of interface. Now, what is the wall shear stress? It is mu du by dy at y equal to 0, where y equal to 0 represents the layer of the fluid which is in contact with the block, right? Now, in this case, it is given to us that the velocity profile is linear. So, when you will draw a graph of u of y with respect to y, the graph will be somewhat a straight line, right? Right? And the slope of this graph will be equal to capital V by L. Why capital V by L? Because this velocity is increasing linearly from 0 at the wall to capital V at the solid block. So slope of this will be capital V by L. Right? So what we have is we have 
mu capital V by L into area is equal to mg. Now in this equation m is known which is 2 kg, g is known which is 9.81 meter per second square. Dining cube is cost is given to us which is 7 into 10 raised to power minus 3 pascal second. L is the thickness of oil layer which is also given to us 0.15 mm. But since we are writing other things in SI, so this will become 0.15 by 1000 meters. So when you will substitute everything here, you will get the value of capital V which will be equal to MGL by mu into A. Okay. So this is the final value of capital velocity. Okay. Capital V, terminal velocity of the block. And uh, being engineering students, I hope you can substitute all the values here and get your numerical answers. Thank you. So for any assistance or any query regarding gate or any other uh, issue regarding PSUs and all, you can contact on this number 080-617-22666. Thank you.